Okay, we're definitely lost. Now, Charlemagne said to turn left at the sign for Leadersville and then bear left at the fort, right? Yeah, we did that. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait. Oh, you know, when Charlemagne takes this shortcut, he takes it from the interstate to his house, not to the interstate, which means we should have turned right and bared right. Oh, well, great, we've lost an hour. Well, that's right, we'll just turn this puppy around and retrace our steps. What's wrong with this? You put gas in it. Don't start with me. Good. Got that gas Good. thing, okay? It says half tank there. I don't have to. Electric. <laughs> you know, it's been saying a half a tank for a long time since before we even got to Apex. Your gas gauge is stuck? We're out of gas again? Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. Well, it's, it's dark and it's late and we can't exactly walk back to the last turn-off. Nothing open anyway. Well, what are we going to do? Well, I guess we better get comfortable because it looks like we're spending the night. Woo! Talk about your spacious accommodations. And really, you must check out that bathroom. Hello, room service. Hi, can you please send up a bottle of your finest champagne? Oh, and while you're at it, how about a gallon of premium? You are never going to forgive me about the gas situation, are you? Hey, it's not your fault. Some cars just have bad karma. Ooh. It's late. What do you want from me, huh? All right, you said you had sleeping bags. Where are they? In the trunk. Thank you. Amazing. What? How quiet it is. No twins. Miss them already. Max, it's only a month. They're gonna be fine. I mean, Maude is great. She's already helped raise one deaf child, and Frankie was happy as a little clam. And Leslie didn't look too unhappy, you know, the way Charlemagne was dancing her around and making her laugh. I think it's what Luna would want. Is that what she said to you, up on the hillside? I know it sounds a little crazy, but uh, I really felt I had a conversation with her. Well, then you did. And she does approve. And, uh, she also gave me some advice. I'm glad. <laughs> well, sister, now that your uh, prime pupil is down in North Carolina and his father won't be there to give you grief about how you're dealing with him, uh, you're gonna have a lot of free time on your hands. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, what are you gonna do? You're gonna stand there shivering? You're gonna freeze your buns off in the car? You're gonna grab a sleeping bag and join me for a night out under the stars? Okay. Oh, yeah. Especially now that you're next to me to help keep me warm. You see Orion? Yeah, nice and bright. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to look up at the night sky and imagine that the stars were all dots, you know? I can connect the dots. Mm -hmm. And I thought that if I connected them just the right way, that I could see this picture of God. Like if you look down from Orion's belt, you can, you can see his beard. And then there's his long white robe. Is that how you still see God? No. I don't see him as concretely anymore. You know, he's more abstract. You know, a series of truths and concepts. And sometimes just a rush of knowing in my heart. Luna always saw God in nature. Well, actually, yeah, she saw God as... They had a very close relationship. Oh, God is... Oh, God is God. You know, it really is all the same thing. It's nature, the life force, blaze of love. Well, watch what you're saying there, sister. They may not let you in the convent talking like that. Right? someday and that you'd 
finish your job someday. Okay, I can't, I, I couldn't even pretend to understand this nun thing. I, not, not totally, I just, but I admire you for it. I, I respect you for it and I, I do wish you well. But I got this problem. You see, you, you're really sneaky. You, you're really, really sneaky. You just wormed your way right into my life, and well, I've, I've gotten used to you being there. I'm gonna miss you. And the twins, and Al. I feel very close to all of you. I definitely want to stay in touch. Hey, you know what? You can come up and visit me in Boston. Yeah. Max, maybe, maybe if you saw me there and you saw how important that community is for me and what a wonderfully fulfilling life it's got to be. That's great. Well, uh, come visit. I'd like that very much. You know, if there's ever anything you need from me, all you have to do is ask. Okay. Thank you. Well, I guess I better let you get to sleep. It's going to be a long drive tomorrow. Yeah, that it will be. serious, but I just don't want to see you leave without a goodbye kiss. I may never get a chance like this again. 